Hi, I'm Dr. Bertice Berry, and I want to tell you a story. When I was a kid, folks said that I was deep, but I was always thinking about, thinking about, thinking. <laughs> I don't think that's true. Uh, but I did like philosophy, and I liked wisdom. I really was taken with this idea that you know, King Solomon with everything could have anything you want and said, give me wisdom. Yeah. And because of that, got everything you wanted. Right? So if wisdom is the thing, like get wisdom, right? I remember once I was teaching kids who were way behind in their reading. I was teaching over the summer in this really innovative program. And I remember one day the light going on for this kid, and we were talking about tangibles and intangibles. And he looked and he said, so if I get the intangibles, the tangibles will come. <laughs> he was like, yeah. Um, I remember when I first learned about Socrates, the saying that an unexamined life is not worth living. Socrates, at his trial, it said that he uttered those words when he was given the choice of the noble choice of death um, by poisoning or exile. And he said, an unexamined life is not worth living. So in other words, give me the poison. And he said that because, well, first of all, he's being tried for teaching young folks to think for themselves. And so that was treasonous. You had to think like the state. And so he said, you know, if he were in exile, he couldn't teach. And if you can't teach, you don't get to examine yourself that when you are teaching, the teacher has to learn the lesson first. And then you teach your student and that student becomes this mirror for you to learn and examine who you are. I love one of the things I love about sharing these stories is that in doing so, I get to examine my own self, my own past, my own history and the way it connects to the larger life. There's a group stories group here called stories to tell here and well it's on Facebook and there are many people there over 4,000 who are sharing their stories and they're learning that when you can look at yourself in the in the reflection of the camera and tell your story to others you see yourself more clearly you tell a better story you're living a better life this idea that examining yourself it's not something that's done, particularly in the Western culture. Um, we are so busy doing and getting and having, and we move from one job to the next, to the next car, to the next house, to the next stuff, to the next family, to the next wife, to the next husband, to the next children, to the next. We're always trying to outdo ourselves with stuff and never sitting still long enough to say, who am I and why and what am I here for? Why me here now? As Naeem Akbar says, we must ask on a daily basis, why me here now? And then that brilliant philosopher, Howard Thurman, who's this mystic and preacher and theologian and mentor of Dr. Martin Luther King says, we must always listen for the voice of the genuine. You must listen for the voice of the genuine within. And if not, you will forever for the rest of your life be dancing on strings that someone else is pulling. This examination of self is an ongoing thing. And the more you learn, the more you get to relearn, and the more you get to relearn, the more you get to teach, and the more you get to teach, the more you get to share. And we grow and become, but please use this time to not complain or whine or be so bothered that you have to wear a mask or stay inside or listen. Use it to intentionally examine yourselves. Go inside. 
to ask why me here now to listen for the voice of the genuine to share whatever it is that you have and that you know to be still long enough to see how marvelous and miraculous you already are I love you.